Come on over, it's time for Tim Friend. And welcome back to Tim Friend. Today we're on the Excess Express and we're talking with a ghost. It wouldn't be a good mystery without a ghost in it. As you see, I'm a ghost. I'm cursed to haunt this place. A blanket? Well, yes, the conductor did leave one here. He didn't realize that I'm a ghost. A yummy, sticky threat? No, I left no such thing. I can't even hold physical objects like pen and paper. What? You just want the blanket then? Well, I'll tell you where it is if you do something for me. What do you say? Uh, fine. Sure, whatever. All I need is... YOUR LIFE! No, just kidding. Actually, I passed away in this cabin many years ago. But I think my luggage is still in the baggage car here. Inside my bag is a diary I kept since my earliest childhood days. And my fear is that someone would find and read it has kept me tied to this world. I can't leave this room, so can you please find it and bring it here? If you do that, I'll show you where the blanket is. And by that I mean hand you the blanket, and don't you even dare read my diary, because if you do... A horrible fate awaits you. He's, he's not wrong. A horrible fate does await us if we read his diary. But let's go get it. His diary is way back in the luggage car. We've got to go tell the, the conductor that there's a ghost on the train. You know, like normal. Uh, and then we can just get his freaking diary, bring it back. It's easy. Easy peasy. But yeah, you can see how if you didn't know to do that exact fucking specific thing, how the fuck would you even be able to? I don't know. I don't know what hints there are, but I haven't looked. I've only played this either with a strategy guide or with it in my brain. Did you find it? Well, sort of. What? A ghost? Eee! And he won't give you the blanket unless you get his diary from the baggage car? I see. Well, go on in. You don't say no to ghosts. Guys, you don't say no to ghosts. It's just... Everyone just kind of keep that one in your journal. Write that down on your word a day calendar. Even I know it's multiple words, but put it on the word a day. Excuse me? I love that there's all these crates of foods. Many foods. Multiple. Boom. That's all that's fucking in there. That's all that's in the luggage car. Did you find the diary? Wonderful. I knew you would. Now I cannot leave my post. Please return the diary while I stay here. Oh, I would like to see what's written in it. Yeah, well... Maybe we should look at it. Maybe we can give it a little look-see. Whoa, Christ. The unticketed passenger was a ghost. My dear Luigi, you are delusional. Do you have the vapors, lad? Incredible. I love Pennington so much. He gives me... It, like, he rarely makes me laugh aloud. But, I mean, I've seen this game so much that almost nothing in it makes me laugh aloud. Uh, but there is a lot of stuff that makes me smile genuinely. And Pennington is one of them. Let's give it a little save. Just real quick. And uh, let's read the diary. You know, just in case. Read the diary? Uh, sure, what the heck. You may be cursed by the ghost. Do you want to read it anyway? Uh, sure, what the heck. I mean, think about this, okay? This could be really, really bad. You understand me? Uh, sure, what the heck. Month X, day X, cloudy. I got on a train today, and on that train... You looked, even though I told you not to. Now see what happens. Yeah, you fucking wig out and die. <laughs> he just kills you. <laughs> There's only a couple ways that you can die outside of combat like that. Um, that's one of them. It's my favorite one because uh, it's absolutely wild. Let's load that shit. We did save right before we did that because, I mean, I knew what was going to fucking happen. But I think it's neat. I think it's cute. I like it. All right, let's give the diary back to the ghost without looking at it this time. But what a way for Mario's quest to come to an end. Man, my GameCube is really fucking up with the graphics on this train. Did you find my diary? Yes, I did, uh, the Count. Yes, this is my diary. Very well, your blanket is right here. I was holding it, even though I can't hold physical objects? Plot holes! Without this blanket, the conductor is freezing. You were very wise not to read my diary, friend. <laughs> if you had read it, you might be a spirit like me right now. But now I can go peacefully on from this world. Thank you so much. 
you will probably never meet me again in this world. Fare thee well. So apparently he goes to, he quote, heaven? Uh, or not. I love, what a stupid bit. I love it so much, though. So. Well, actually, maybe not. I've been here so long, I've gotten kind of used to it. The wallpaper's so great, there is no wallpaper. Maybe I'll just stay here just a little while longer. I can leave whenever, so that's all there is to it. <laughs> Alright. There's wallpaper out here, I guess. But whatever you say, freaking ghostman. Alright, let's give that conductor his blanket. Uh, so he can not be freezing, I guess? I don't know why it's so freaking cold on this train. But whatever, whatever train. I also like that the we get to see like cross sections of the floor and the ceiling and the walls. I don't know if that's what it actually looks like on a train, but it's cute. So Mr. Mario, how did it go? Blanket. Just chuck a blanket in his face. Oh, thank you so much. Now I'll be comfortable tonight. Of course, our yummy and sticky mischief maker is still at large. Oh, hey, before I forget, this is just a gesture of my thanks. A mushroom. Don't want that shit. It's getting late, Mr. Mario. Perhaps you should just turn in for the night? If anything happens, I'll report it to you immediately. Do not worry about a thing. For I am the conductor of the Excess Express. You got a mushroom. Don't want it. Get the fuck out of here. What is it just a regular ass mushroom? Ain't got time for that shit. Uh, what do you gotta say, Pennington? Anything new? I see. So it was not, in fact, a yummy, sticky suspect. Just as I suspected. The mystery deepens. It is getting rather late. Let us turn in and work on this case tomorrow. Hopefully nothing happens in the middle of the night. Alright, this it's the first day on the Excess Express. It takes us three days to get there. The shop closes. Uh, the chef's done. Waitress is still here for some reason. But any but. There is technically one person on the train we haven't met yet, but we will meet her tomorrow. And it's, it's not that big a deal to not meet her. All right, let's go to sleep. Hey, the conductor can handle the train, so let's grab a few winks, huh? All right, Lomcom, if that's what you want to call going to sleep, a grabbing a few winks, whatever. Also, the conductor didn't give me my blanket. What the fuck? Train voyage, day two. What do we got? What is up, my friends? Let's go see if we can talk to Pennington, see if anything scurrilous, anything suspicious happened. Oh, we got an email. I don't give a shit. You so totally bagged that chubby guy in record time. I was way impressed. Hey, come to think of it, I could use your skills. Could you help me? Yes. Really? Five stars. Wow, okay, so I lost these shell earrings that my ex-boyfriend gave me, and they're like all full of memories and stuff. I really need them back. Can you maybe look for them or something? Please? You got it. I will look for your shell earrings. Amazing, amazing stuff. We've already got a mystery on our hands, ladies and gentlemen. What will we do? What can anyone do when shell earrings are gone? Ding, ding, ding. I love it. I love it so much, you guys. Ah, oh, my dear Luigi, your timing is impeccable. A new case has arisen. Now then, Mr. Businessman, please explain the facts to my assistant, Luigi. Uh, okay, okay, here's the deal. When I woke up this morning, my briefcase was gone. It contained all the contracts for our next deal and even our new product prototype. If I don't recover it, I'll lose my job at the least. What, what else would they do to you? Now, now, calm yourself. The next part is vital. So tell Luigi very slowly. Of course, of course. Our company's new product is Nitro Honey Syrup. Used properly, it's an amazing product that can even raise the dead. Just, they just throw that out there, and they do nothing with it. The Nitro Honey Syrup can raise the dead. Excuse me? The dead. Like, like a zombie? Or like resurrection? These are two different things, Mr. Businessman, and you're just fucking covering it up. But if mixed with a calcium from a seashell, you know, that very specific calcium, and a bit of gold, well then, the results are explosive! The resulting goo blast would immobilize here in a sticky yet yummy shellac. If it's fallen into the wrong hands, well, I could lose more than my job. Hmm. Let me just walk around. Let's examine these facts, shall we? Someone has stolen your briefcase. 
Though you definitely had it yesterday. Hmm. Yep, okay. These are sure some facts. And the train has not stopped at all in the intervening time. Poof! I have it! Rudimentary, my dear Luigi. Rudimentary. The thief is still on the train. No shit. Aha. Uh -huh. Luigi, have you spoken to the waitress and the lady in cabin too? They've both lost something on this train. The waitress lost shell earrings, and the lady Toodles lost a gold ring. Luigi, if the same person who stole these objects also has the nitro honey syrup, they could make this goo blast. They could carry out the threat in the note. So it is simple, Luigi. You must find that thief. You must apprehend the suspect before this dastardly plan is put into effect. Whew! Well, yeah, that's a sticky, yummy threat, ladies and jelly spoons. They've got the nitro honey syrup. They got shell earrings and apparently a gold necklace. We gotta, we gotta fucking solve this sticky, gooey threat. Uh, what's your deal? Hello, it is a good feeling day, isn't it, friend of mine? Yes, a delicious day. I will make food so delicious it will make the day mad. Hoi, 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 hoi. Uh, you got it, Chef Shimi. You fucking got it. Uh, let's go talk to the lady in cabin two. Toodles. We've seen her before. And, uh, will we see her again? Maybe. Actually, yes, actually. I think we're going to be doing a trouble for her later. Uh, I don't remember. A trouble meaning a side quest. But, uh, you know what? We'll talk to her next time on Tim Friend. And we'll solve the mystery. Bye, everybody.